Another great day here in the Sun Coast. Winds kind of calmed down. Yeah, calming down a bit, which is nice for the firefighters too, yeah. and beachgoers alike. And we had a great day, warm temperatures, and beautiful for baseball. Yep. And get a look at this and listen to this here at the Park. Who's gonna That sure sounded nice today at LeeCom as the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's a Manatee High School choir singing the national anthem right there. A beautiful day with a, just a few clouds off in the distance there. By the way, if you have a picture, a selfie, if you will, at the Orioles game today, send it in. We're doing Fan of the Day. We need some photos. Send them to PIX, P-I-X, at MySunCoast.com. We'll be sure to show those tonight at 11 o'clock, or at least one of the ones we pick. So send those in again. A picture of the game, you at the game today at the Orioles uh, at Smith Stadium. Well, here is a look at what's going on. Casey Key webcam showing pretty nice weather out there. We had some high clouds moving in from the west in advance of a frontal system, but beautiful day today with temperatures warming upper 70s to low 80s across the region. Now there is a front. It's stretching off the eastern seaboard right on in through north central Florida and this front doesn't have much push to it. Temperatures behind a little bit cooler, a little drier, but unfortunately it doesn't feel like it's going to go on through and cool us down at all. We will see this kind of fade away right over the top of us. It will bring a slight increase in clouds on Thursday. No real threat of any significant rainfall. We may see one or two lone showers developing inland, pushing off toward the east coast tomorrow afternoon. And the overall picture is calling for some much colder air to move in. The front washes out just over the top of us tomorrow. Dry through Saturday. No real threat of any rainfall where we could use the rain. And then showers, a pretty good chance of that happening on Monday as a stronger cold front moves through. This next front will be noticeable with temperatures dropping down below average on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Now some showers in progress near Daytona Beach stretching off toward Ocala right now. That's associated with the front as it continues to slowly push to the south, but not much uh, push to it as the winds are kind of parallel with the front in the upper levels of the atmosphere. 72 right now. Winds are out of the west at 7, keeping things a bit cooler right near the coast. The pressure 3022 still high. It has been falling slightly throughout the past 24 hours. The high today, a few degrees above the average of 75. It warmed to 78 at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. This morning's low was 2 degrees above the average at 58. Our normal low at 56 degrees and the deficit for the year rainfall total nearing 4 inches now. And we aren't expecting a lot of rainfall on Monday, but there will be a few showers around that could help the matters somewhat as far as the fire danger goes. Well, those winds will be light out of the north and northeast tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow morning, which will allow some fog to form. That fog will be patchy. You shouldn't be sticking around all that long. The fog will be a little thicker down near those fires near Naples, however. And the hourly forecast check, checks in to be pretty nice. High temperatures right around 80 degrees, slightly above average through the day. A lot of sunshine, too, in progress throughout Thursday. And the front, there it is, comes down, washes out over north central Florida uh, by, for the most part, tomorrow evening. It is gone and no longer visible in terms of clouds. Now, there's another front coming into north central Florida, but that'll soon fade away. Temperatures pretty warm right now in Cleveland and Washington and Boston, but cold air is set to move in fairly soon. And we're talking Arctic air, which means temperatures down below zero and some record breaking lows anticipated over the Great Lakes and Northeast. North winds turn to the northwest at five to 10 knots tomorrow. Seas one to two feet and a light chop out there. High tide of coming 909 sunset just after 630. The forecast tonight, some patchy fog, partly cloudy, mild 62 tomorrow. Some morning fog 78 for a high and a little bit warmer inland. The extended forecast beautiful through Saturday. We lose an hour as we spring forward one hour Saturday night chance for showers on Sunday and then notice the cooler temperatures moving in on Monday and breezy on Wednesday with a high of only 71. Scott.